two, one. Day six, we've been driving for a couple hundred kilometers uh, to get to the fort. This fort that we found on Google Maps looked great, like a big ridge with amazing views. I think we're going to have to admit defeat. We've been driving over the most ridiculous terrain you've ever seen, and we finally got to some terrain that is just not suitable for a rickshaw. We've asked the local people if we could just walk up there. They went, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two hours there and two hours back. We've got no fuel, so all <laughs> And we've got fuck all fuel. And we haven't eaten today. Well, our eventual destination for today is a place called Levada Lake City. You see this quite a lot in India. Basically, as many people as they can possibly pack into a car, right? In the front, in the two front seats alone, we've got five children and two adults. That's what we should be doing back in the UK, Will, you know? Uber pool could be that. And this place, Lavazzo, looks like, I don't know, just look, well, it's, it's all modelled on Portofino in Italy. And so for that reason, we want to go try it. And Ben really, really wants to have a very good dinner tonight. And we feel like it's quite a high chance that we can get some good food there. Yeah, we made it to Lavazzo thinking that it was going to be kind of Tuscany vibes, you know. I thought it kind of looked a little bit like Cuba, colourful, colourful walls, colourful houses, but um, it's the opposite. So this is Lavasa. We were quite excited to come here last night because on Google Images and stuff it looks amazing. But they just haven't quite got it. It's looking a little bit Hunger Games with like half-built eerie building. It's just bizarre. What are your thoughts, mate, on the place? Kind of looks like everyone left, <laughs> but no one actually arrived. <laughs> So this place has been highly recommended by... By, um, uh, the sign. <laughs> Got some choco flakes to kick things off. Um, so the all-American diner doesn't seem to have anything American. Just Indian again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got into this bad habit where we get money out of the cash point and then we buy a load of sh <laughs> at little shops like this. Right here we've bought a very, very necessary item Party poppers. Big industrial pie poppers. 10 inches of fun. Try to leave Lavasa, um, Lavasa Lake City, and we've been taken hostage really by a bride and groom who want to use our rickshaws for their wedding photography. And that was the last time we ever saw our stuff. <laughs> when it rains, it doesn't mess about. So it happens very quickly. One minute is beautiful blue skies, super duper hot. Next minute it's just grey and then rain and lightning and the loudest thunder you've ever heard in your life. It's like a gunshot, it's ridiculous. He's desperate for the camera, he's like Jesse. Um, this is our pit stop in between here and I'll bang your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is never a good time to cross the road here, so you just basically gotta grab your bollocks and run. Three, two, one. Big city-wide power cuts, everything has all gone black. All the here, all the buildings, all the hotels, all the other rooftop bars. The cricket on the screen, which is annoying because we were really enjoying the cricket, weren't we lads? What I like about India is that everything's in notes and all that is 90p. <laughs> About 8 a.m., about to drive 117 kilometers to Aurangabad, where there's gonna be caves and temples, soak up the culture. Again, Indians are very friendly. Pulled up for some fuel, and we've been given some chai with chatter, apparently. Yeah. We're just rock stars, man, and this is what you get when you're a rock star. Come to petrol station, get given free tea, and have to do selfies. Yeah. 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 
Go on, another puff, another puff, Ben. Yeah. Ben, you better let him win. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's laughing at you. Come on, guys. Technique's great. We've made it, although that was the shortest drive we've done so far on a day. We've got the addition of some lovely um, flower arrangements on the front of our whips. But these hotels are costing us like 15 quid each a night. So hell yeah, we're gonna do it. 15 pounds a night for this, okay. Will and I decided to do curtains for this evening. Let me show you, Will. It's not quite long enough, is it? We are now getting in a cab, which is running late, to a mini Taj Mahal to see the sunset. This is the, it's actually called mini Taj Mahal. I've got to admit, we, we know absolutely nothing about this place. <laughs> this has been a good subtle troll, but a good night to wear the curtains because I have been in so many pictures like this, and I look like a complete chopper. Had a fun day today, didn't we boys? We had, like a, we had like a half day today. It felt like the first, it felt like an actual holiday today. So, looks like we're gonna have to hit up a bad boy mechanic tomorrow. So, 250K is quite ambitious if we've got to spend some time with a So we're thinking of maybe going to Duel, which is 160 kilometers away. And going through a national park, which Ben loves, because he likes shitting in the woods. So last night on the way back from dinner, boys got excited, saw something out of the car, uh, decided to jump out of the car. I was like, now I'm going to stay in the aircon, do what you want. They took a while, it took about 20 minutes, um, but they came back with a nice gift for me. Massive box of fireworks. <laughs> um, so they reckon that in the UK, this, all these fireworks be worth about a grand. Here, they cost 37 pounds. Oh, God bless you, India. We're going to try and do about 250 kilometres today to Nandabar. Uh, there's one hotel in Nandabar, and the latest review of it just said terrible. We're in Aurangabad, so we can't leave Aurangabad without going to the cave. Okay, so we are about nine, eight, nine kilometres out of the city centre of Abangadad, and these are the the Buddhist caves. There's about 12 of these, hand cut from this rock. Some of the only first millennial Buddhist artwork in India. So it's about, it's about half eight in the morning. We've got a 250 kilometer drive today. Well, we hope. <laughs> So we've been a bit quiet on the whole filming front today. It's because today's been pretty mental. After leaving the caves this morning, we have driven in like 42 degree heat along one pretty much straight long road with loads of cargo trucks. We were the only rickshaw on there. We're all getting a bit hot and bothered. Will was sick about three times out of the side of the rickshaw, which was really nice. And he didn't want to touch the camera. We pulled into town. We got swarmed by like, 200 people or something around our tuk tuks. We didn't really know where we were. We couldn't really see where we were going. We had to stop, people around us. Then the police bikes rolled up and we were like, yeah! And then they started having to go at us because we hadn't told them we were coming. I mean, really? So all in all, it's been a pretty, pretty lively day. We've checked into pretty much the only, definitely the nicest hotel in this town. Is that your name? Yes. Just in case you forget. Will's back in business, yay! After 14 hours of just spewing his little face off. How you feeling, Will? Weak. Weak, but good. It's about 6 a.m., back in these familiar surroundings again, going off to Varadora. Is that correct, Sandy? If you are ever traveling through Shahada, stay at Shari Punjab Hotel. Sandeep is a lovely bloke who's got the best English we've experienced on this trip so far. What's up? 
Hornet or something, B. When you're traveling with three filmmakers, you kind of have to stop at every opportunity uh, for a snap or for a video. So these lovely <laughs> array of sunflowers, of course, for pause. Roadworks mean that it's just a very dusty, unfinished track. It means even though we left early, progress is pretty slow. Don't approve of this. Don't really like fireworks. Made a watermelon bomb. Ben. And that is how you make a watermelon disappear. We just saw an ice cream man driving the road, so we've stopped him, made him pull over, so we can serve us. Oh, India. Right, she's taking over the truck. Anyone want ice cream? Yeah. Jesse, what are you ordering? I haven't got a clue yet, because Raf's just asking me if I want ice cream. I don't actually know what's in there. They ain't got any cones, though. Loving the masala ice cream. They've got their engine on, they obviously want to go, but I don't want to move until I finish this. It's 5 a.m. This morning was a 4.30 get up. Yay, love get up at 4.30. We're now very close to Jai Sabo, about 646 kilometers away. So, rather than do days of 200, 200, 200, we're going to try and do it all in two days. Tired, we're hungry, we're thirsty, we've seen Subway, which is beautiful because we, I think we're all curried out. I think we've just had too many curries. Jess, bro, 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 we got a film, bro. Huh? We got a film. What do you mean, got a film? We've got to do the presenting again. Well, we've just done the whole thing, and you've done your f***ing mind episode. Hey, dude. You've forgiven me yet? Uh, no. Come on, mate, tell me what we're up to. No, we'll go outside, we'll do it all over again. <laughs> Getting flagged down by the police is always quite unnerving, but it turns out these guys just want some pictures and to be us. Which is quite cool. And they think Will's funny, which is funny. Uh, we've just pulled into the petrol station and we've got a um, slightly off-piste issue with our rickshaw and the fact that uh, I've got the key in my hand, the ignition's off, but um, it's still, still running. That's the opposite of breaking down. We've just pulled over to get some water and as ever, everyone surrounds us. This place was completely dead when we just arrived and now, well yeah, we caused quite a stir. The furthest we did before was 328 kilometers, and that felt rank. And now I've just done 160 more. <laughs> and happy birthday to you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're 150 kilometers outside of Jalsama. We could have got there but we broke our necks basically doing about 500 kilometers yesterday to get here so we can have the whole day here. Yeah, it's slightly premature. We haven't reached the finish yet. We've got about 150 kilometers yet, but that's easy. We're staying in an amazing hotel with like sand dunes and stuff over there. Gonna celebrate, Indian style. So our big celebration is when we get into Dry Salma, but we're going to have our own little team celebration tonight. We've been through a lot with these boys, six of us in very fine conditions, and now we ended up with six legends, two rickshaws, one desert, one India, shit load of fireworks. This 
is our final day of driving. Well, we hope it's our final day of driving, unless something really bad happens, but we've got 150 kilometers left to do, just under, actually I think it's like 130, to dry Selma. It's about half seven in the morning. We're gonna do it, get the nice and early. We're checking into the Marriott. So we don't know where our key is because we haven't driven it for one whole day. And obviously if you don't drive for one day, you just lose the key. <laughs> Um, well obviously, we established that we didn't actually need the key for it to continue driving, but we don't know whether you need the key to start it. Nah. And we can't give it back without... How much is a new key? But now our battery we might be dead. Oh, shh. Why did we leave it on? Lights are on. Lights are on? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Keys are overrated, man. Oh, <laughs> God. Okay. Do we keep looking for the key or do we just... Oh, no. Key. Key. Look for the key. Should we spend an hour looking for the key or should we go now? Who the needs a key? Jess? It's true. What he says is true. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they really like to you know, make the most of every vehicle they've got. The PS Resistance, the Marriott and Joe Salma. It looks incredible. How you feeling, Will? I just can't believe we've made it. So we arrived here yesterday, gotta admit, we haven't actually left these four walls um, because we can have cocktails by the pool. However, there's a party this evening. Whee! Uh, it's time to relax now. The ritual run's actually been quite hard work. Awesome, really enjoyable, but quite stressful. Can you believe it? Made it here, mate. What a setting as well they've picked. I love it. Jai Salma and Kochi are probably two of the best places we've been on this trip, isn't it, really? Hey, camels are weird beings, aren't they? Hey, it's wicked. They've got quite spongy feet, camels. These people are taking their fair share of time on the finish line. But I guess, you know, it's been two weeks in the making, so have your moment. Camel is having a piss. Started with three rickshaws, we just brought two sterling, sterling rickshaws onto this finish line. It's felt great. It's been an adventure. We've got a couple of camels, three Bombay babes. Yeah, it's good. 